everyone, it's Justin here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Gold version. In the last episode, we made it through Toho Falls, and we also got the Master Ball from Professor Elm. And in this episode, we are going to be covering the short, but important, Victory Road. So let's see, what can we do here? We can go not that way. Um, let's see, we can go this way. No, we can't go that way. So we gotta go forward, I guess. We're gonna go up here. Now, I don't know if there's a whole lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of good items, but I don't know if there's any, like, trainers or anything. And wow, a wild Ursa ring. Okay. That's interesting. So I have Kong up front. Let's see if we can just take that thing out. Um, just because. I may or may not know what, uh, is going to be happening in here. So I have him up front just in case. The faint attack. Yeah, so I guess if you want an Ursa Ring, like, they're in here, and you could find Teddy Ursa back in Blackthorn, but you might as well just pick up an Ursa Ring if you're here, you know? It'd be much better. So let's see, we can either go right or left. If you want to get items, go right. If you just want to continue on, just start heading left. And I really need to put up a Repel, don't I? That's what I need to do. But it's good, I'm showing off some of the Pokemon you can find in here. And you can find a, a few different Pokemon, I think, if you're playing Crystal. So just keep that in mind. Let's see, let's use a Repel. Alright, let's go up here. And there's two items we can grab. The first being a full heal, not too important, but hey, we can use that. Let's go over here and find a max revive. We can definitely use that. And I believe there's a place you can buy those, so I'll I'll show that off if there is. Because I've learned from my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough that those are very important to have. You absolutely need those. Okay, can I go down please? So let's go up here. Alright, and we are over here. Let's see. I wanna grab that item. what it is though let's find out an x special okay that was really disappointing i never use those does anybody else use those because i don't okay so tell war off we'll use another one that is absolutely fine with me as long as it keeps everybody away okay so there's some there's a ladder there's a ladder right here is there anything else we can do nope so go up here now i think is there anything back here there's an item or something. There's a ladder, it looks like. Ooh. A full restore. Okay. We can definitely use that towards the Elite Four as well. We'll go back up. Now, let's go this way. Okay, repels effect war off. That's fine. We'll just use another one. We need to go buy more. So we'll definitely have more opportunities to use them. Let's go over here real quick. And if you fall down this hole... Ow. You can grab this. Which is TM26. And you may be asking yourself, Justin, why is it? Why is TM26 just down here chilling? TM26 is Earthquake. And it is amazing. It is such a good TM. It's definitely something you should be picking up. Let's see. Let's go... Earthquake. Here we go. Let's use this. We are going to be teaching this. Okay, where I was like, not available. We're going to be teaching this to Sandy. Now, I could teach it to Tap, and that'd be cool. But we have Sandy for a reason, so let's teach him Earthquake. And we'll probably use that during the Elite Four. We're going to get rid of Sand Attack just because, just because Mud Slap is useful. It does a little bit of damage, and then it also makes their accuracy fall. So I don't know why I would keep that over, or why I would get rid of it over Sand Attack. Why, hello there. Hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Justin, I challenge you. So yes, we have a rival battle, and that's why I have Prime I Primeape up in the front. I kind of anticipated this. There's always a rival battle or some kind of battle in the Victory Road. 
So he's going to start off with his Sneasel at level 34, which is a Dark Ice type, and that's why I brought out Kong, because that has a 4 times weakness to fighting. So we are going to absolutely destroy his Sneasel. And a critical- Oh, That's just adding insult to injury! Critical hit, that's great. Oh, I'm being, I'm being called. Somebody dares to call me during a recording session. So he's going to go ahead and send out a Golbat. We'll switch over into Fluffy here. And I could actually use Hagakure too. Hagakure would work just fine because he has a poison typing as well. But we'll just send out Hagakure, or Fluffy. Oh, no, no, no. No. Oh my gosh, Confuse Ray is so annoying. Yep, I, I knew it. I saw that coming. So he's just gonna bite me while I'm just sitting here confused, hitting myself. Some kind of doofus. Alright, there we go, Fluffy. Good job. Let's see, can you take it out? Nice. Okay, I, I thought it was going to, but you never know. Alright, let's see what you got next. Magneton. Okay, what can we use to take down a Magneton? Mm, I'm thinking Fluffy, but it might have Levitate. If it has Levitate, that's not gonna... Oh, Fluffy, no. I meant... I meant Sandy. Let's try Sandy. If Sandy can't do it because of Levitate, then we'll switch out. I don't know, I always think Levitate is a bigger thing than it is, and some Pokemon don't have it. Like, see? Magneton doesn't have it. But in later generations, I feel like all the Pokemon had it. Okay, so nice. Get Magneton out of the way and get Sandy a level. Much appreciated. We need Sandy to get a level here. Looking good, Sandy. Now that you have an actual decent move, you're doing good damage. So we'll switch out for Meganium. Let's see... Who do I have that negates Meganium? I don't think I have anybody who's good against Meganium. So I guess Sephira is going to be our new person against Meganium? Or Hagakure. Either one works. Let's get Sephira, because I felt like I've used Sephira the least. Levels-wise, Sephira is the lowest. But Sephira is probably one of our strongest Pokemon, if you really think about it. Gosh, that did nothing. Okay, so Sephira, I thought you were going to do a little bit more than, than that. So let's use Dragon Rage. Okay, so I think like two more of those will take him out. Yeah, we should be able to tank just fine. The Ganium isn't that great, guys. Another body slam, I can take that, as long as you don't get a critical or something crazy, you know. So we'll use another Dragon Rage and finish you off there. Very nice. Look at all that XP. Alright, so we're going to send out a Haunter. So we can switch out. Um, let's use Hagakure. I know you have a move that's good against it. Switching out here. Now, uh, we could either use Bite or Shadow Ball. Mm, let's go for a Bite. I don't know which would be more effective. I think Shadow Ball actually is stronger, so that might have been the better choice, but we still took it out in one hit, so not a big deal. And let's see who the final Pokemon is. Kadabra. Okay, we'll just, we'll just stay in for that. That's fine. Ooh, you reflect faded. Okay, so we'll use a bite, and hopefully that'll finish things off here. Okay, just just barely didn't, but that's fine. You for you foresaw an attack. Did you foresee my attack? Did you foresee my critical hit? No, no, you didn't. So Hogger Curry is almost level 38. That's nice. And Noob was defeated. I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. You're talking about me? Because I'm the Dragon Master. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. Huh. You keep at it until then. Gosh. Such a tough guy. Let's go 
through here. What is this building? Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal for trainers. Pokemon League HQ. That sounds pretty awesome. Hey, where's the Pokemon League? Yeah, it's up there, I think. So, it seems we have made it to the Pokemon Center. That's pretty exciting. Oh, you're challenging the Elite Four? Are you sure you're ready? If you need to train some more, my Abra can help you. It can teleport you home. Would you like to go home now? No. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Repels effect wore off. Okay. So, we'll probably need to use that Abra if we need to go do anything else before we go to Elite Four, but... Guys, we have made it here. We are at the Elite Four. I am going to be covering this pretty soon, so stay tuned. And yeah, hopefully we can win. I think we have a good team. I needed I needed those final two Pokemon that I did in my Dragon's Den video. I really needed them to round out my team and its weaknesses. And I think they do a great job at that. So my team is pretty well balanced now, and I think we are going to do great. I am going to pretty much do it with the levels I have right now. I'm going to see... If I'm able to, if I really can't, I'll train up a bit more, but I think I should be able to face them with what I have. So I would like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.